Insects have to deal with the harsh reality that at any given time, they could be consumed by a predator like toads and frogs in the blink of an eye. They can be easy prey. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but once eaten, this is where their story usually ends. Except if you're a bombardier or water beetle. These two bugs have a remarkable yet not so glorious way to survive. Being vomited or crawling out of their predator's butt. Nasty. How do they survive in a frog's digestive tract? How long do water beetles take to escape from a frog's butt? How do bombardier beetles make their predator vomit them up? Let's find out why the survival of the fittest isn't exactly pretty. There are an estimated 2,000 species of water beetles around the world. They are omnivorous that eat algae, small fish, and decaying matter. Females lay their eggs in water vegetation. The larvae are called water tigers because they have middle-aged dads who call their kids tiger. Oh wait, no, that's not right. Because they are fierce hunters who can eat small water animals bigger than they are. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Tadpoles tend to be one of the main dishes for water tigers, and considering frogs are a water beetle's most common predator, it seems like a fair trade. The old circle of life. Frogs rarely kill their prey before swallowing them whole, meaning their digestive tract is much more active in killing them. For the water beetle, 90% make it out alive, the only way they know how, through the end zone. Their hard exoskeleton may allow for added protection against harsh digestive juices. These beetles use their legs to swim actively and help them escape. Their hind legs have a fringe of sorts that helps give them an added boost when swimming. Researchers found live beetles were excreted quicker than dead beetles. They determined that the beetles must use their legs and streamlined shape to move through the digestive tract. Water beetles are always excreted head first, which suggests they stimulate the hind gut and urge the frog to poop. The minimum time it takes the beetles to get out is six minutes. Most make it out within a six hour time frame. Bombardier beetles can also survive after being swallowed. However, they like to come out of a different end of the predator, its mouth. This isn't as simple as just crawling out like a water beetle. This beetle can shoot boiling chemicals that trigger the predator to vomit it up. A chamber in its abdomen creates the toxic brew only when needed. The chemicals react and form hydrogen peroxide, benzoquinones, and a lot of pressure. It shoots the chemicals with massive force, causing damage to the skin and lungs. Most bombardier beetles can get predators like frogs to spit them out before ever being swallowed. Toads have been studied swallowing these bugs and then throwing them up 45 minutes later perfectly fine. Researchers have found that 43% of the beetles that sprayed chemicals were vomited between 12 to 107 minutes later. I think I'm going to be sick. It's clear that the bombardier beetle's chemical squirting ability helps them survive. But scientists are still puzzled why they have it in the first place. Bombardier beetles are hardier compared to other species exposed to a predator's strong stomach acids. Biologists think they evolved their chemical defense strictly for the ability to endure a toad's digestive system. Others have pointed out that for bombardier beetles, a flight escape isn't instantaneous, so it buys them time to get revved up. Haven't got your fix for beetles and butts yet? How about a combo? Check out our episode on the dung beetle and its relationship with big balls of poop. Crawling out of the butts of frogs and toads after shooting toxic chemicals to survive is what water and bombardier beetles do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.